Welcome back. We're reflecting on Ireland's 2-0 win over Oman, but we're going to cast our sights a little bit further ahead now and uh, fill us all full of lots of optimism because it's a tough group coming up that we've got in these European Championship yes. qualifiers and uh, not based on particularly what we saw tonight. Can we mm. qualify? Can we finish second? Priority just to get a result this weekend. First and foremost, get a result out in Georgia sets us up. And you know, George will win. Uh, sorry, Germany will win the group. So we're we're fighting out for those those two spots. You know, we've got to be better than you know. You look at Poland, you look at Scotland, Georgia. You know, Kitzbayer himself has said he fancies themselves to take a second or a third spot themselves. So, Kevin, it's the toughest of starts. I put it to you, and you know yeah. well going to Dublin. Yeah, it is. Georgia's Georgia's a, a, a really really tough place. You know, I, I played there in 2003 when we had it under Brian. It was a really intimidating atmosphere out there in Tbilisi. We managed to we managed to just come away with the two 0 win. I was hit with a the pen knife actually with with the knife thrown at me from the crowd in that particular yep. game. I think it is a tough start. It is, but you know the, the results. Certainly, the groups that we can get results in those games. You know, Scotland will be a great occasion for us. I think I think we can topple Scotland. Although they've had great results, as Keith was saying in com commentary. But I think we, we can because Poland themselves they got Lewandowski, they have got Blazikowski, they have got top players throughout. But we can, and I think we've got players now that are coming of an age where we can really go on and progress. Do you agree, Dennis? Are you, are you that optimistic? Yes, yes. It'll be tough. I think with the fact that two definitely qualify will help us. It's, there's no doubt that it's the toughest group. Um, Teams will drop points. I think it's a given that Germany will qualify. What we have to do is we have to start winning at home here in big games. You look at the World Cup qualifying, you know, we obviously got well beat at home to Germany, but, you know, Austria, a draw, 2-2 two -two draw, and we got beat at home to Sweden. So we're going to have to start beating Scotland, the likes of Scotland, yeah. the likes of Poland here, if we are going to qualify. But I'm optimistic. We've played Poland twice last year, and we got good results against them. Scotland have improved under Strachan and that, which will be tough, but yeah, I'm very optimistic. I know you want to come back in, Kevin. We'll come back to you, but uh, Martin O'Neill is ready to talk to us. Martin, 2-0. Two goals from set pieces must make for a happy Ireland manager. I'm pleased. Um, lots of things that we can still work on, obviously. Um, but I think you could see there that the game was important for us in the sense that some, some players definitely needed it, you know. And um, you look at Darren Gibson there, he was getting very, very tired, has um, trained with Everton all pre-season, but not actually played a competitive game. And I think there was a number of players in the same boat, and I thought it showed. But uh, we had plenty of possession, played some nice stuff, weren't, weren't able to uh, really finish it off, and, um, and, but we won the game comfortably enough. You spoke before, Anne, about getting a look at some of these players tonight and maybe learning a few lessons about them. What sort of lessons have you learned from that game this evening? Well, I was pleased to actually see players like Darren Gibson, who really hasn't played that much football in the last couple of years, through one reason or another, you know, serious injury that he picked up, and young Robbie Brady coming back again. And it's the first time, of course, I've been able to see him, even though he was in the very first squad away back last November, had to pull out of that because of injury. His injuries seem to be clearing up and that's, that's good for him in the long term. So players like that there for me to have a look, first time of asking. And, uh, and I know, I was just talking to some of the players in the dressing room there who said themselves that there's plenty of improvement in the, in the side. We think that, but I mean, time is, time is pressing and we've got the big game on Sunday. Ireland seemed to lack a bit of incision perhaps in the final third over the first 60 minutes or so and when the changes were made that seemed to change a little bit and I presume the team at the end resembled much more the team that were taken to the qualifiers so that must give you great encouragement. Well I, would, I wouldn't disagree with you at all, yes I thought uh, the substitutions came on, gave us a wee bit more life, a bit more energy, a little bit more impact and, uh, and we, of course we scored the second goal maybe because of that but uh, yeah there's, there's, there's lots of things you know uh, that um, I suppose you could turn around and say that, uh, that uh, uh, you know, it was important for us to win the game, it does, just gives you a bit of confidence, and, uh, but I think, as I said, I, I think despite the fact that we can improve in it, I thought we were always reasonably comfortable without, as you mentioned, that real incision. But, uh, I mean, you could say that that's the, the history of the Republic. I hope it's not the future. Martin, well done tonight. Thank you. No, I much appreciate it. Thank you. Very good, Adrian. I, I'm not convinced that he's learned too much, or at least he's not giving it away. Um, I prefaced the previous chat where we were looking at the group saying, you know, can we finish second? That's assuming that Germany win the group. Germany have lost 4-2 tonight to Argentina in Dusseldorf, so the world champions officially are on the slide. We could top the group. Uh, let, let's be realistic. Um, 
in all seriousness, though, when you talk about the teams in our World Cup qualification group that finished above us, we didn't score a goal away from home yeah. against uh, the likes of Austria, Germany and Sweden last time. We've got to be better, Kevin, yeah. in that department. Definitely going away to get away results. When we have qualified for, for tournaments, we've got results, big results in key games away from home. That's what we haven't had. Dennis Tuck's on at home here. I think teams going to Georgia will drop points. The likes of Scotland are going to find it difficult. The, the, the likes of Poland are going to find it difficult going to Georgia. So if we can get a win this weekend, that will set us up nicely. I, I think judging from tonight from what Martin's saying, it was a comfortable win without, without really showing us too much. You've got to say that. The, the players that came on showed how key they are to us for, uh, in a creative sense in the last third. Yeah, managers and players talk about momentum. I mean, if you go to Gelsenkirchen for game three with six points, well, who knows? Well, who knows? You've seen Argentina. I know there was a repeat of the World Cup final, but you just never know in football. But the main thing is we get off to a good start on Sunday. It's a, it's a tough, up, tough game across in, in Georgia. Um, we have got a good habit of going away from home. I know we don't score that many, but you know we are difficult to beat. I think we, we struggle here when the onus is on us mm -hmm. at the Aviva Stadium yeah. to, to go create, to go score some, some goals. As I said, over the last two or three years against tougher opposition, you know we have struggled to score more than one goal. I think we're going to have to. I know we rely on Robbie too much, but we're going to yeah. have to ask the other players to join in mm -hmm. and start scoring goals. And the other thing is, particularly with the, the problems that we've had in the last couple of uh, reigns at the Aviva, you look at that final fixture away to Poland yeah. and more. So as the lad said in commentary, I mean, you, you got to have got to have it done really before you go there. Ideally would like that yeah I mean Martin touched on it himself our history certainly when I was involved we didn't particularly go and blow sides away when we needed to and it proved it tonight against our man for all the possession we had for all the chances that we created we never went and really killed the game off early so I would imagine it'll be the same through qualification we'll have tough games here at the Aviva but it's just about getting the right results yeah. Kevin Dennis always a pleasure thanks very much for your company and for your insight tonight just uh, want to draw your attention to a few games coming up on Satanta Sports live tomorrow night from 7.40 we're in Bari for Italy against the Netherlands on Satanta Ireland and then looking further ahead of course a little bit of a break for the Barclays Premier League but we're back with live action Saturday September 13th from 12.15 it's Arsenal against the champions Man City at the Emirates and we follow that on Satanta Sports 1 as always from the usual time of 2.30 with Southampton against Newcastle All right, so Ireland back to winning ways, thankfully, tonight at the Aviva Stadium. For the first time in ten months, the tougher challenges, though, are just around the corner. Bye for now. So am I 